Farah Abraham threatens legal action against Ivy League University, Harvard is a joke Farah Abraham threatened to sue Harvard University and accused the university of educational abuse during an interview Thursday with TMZ. The former teen mom star told TMZ that Professor Patricia Balanca encouraged her to submit a class activity without checking it over for her creative writing master's program. The professor then used the assignment to encourage her to drop the course altogether, according to Abraham. I will be taking legal action against Harvard Abraham told a TMZ camera woman. I properly gave them time. I sadly had to write a review on Niche, on Yelp and on Google Maps because no one was getting back to me. Harvard did not confirm the alleged incident occurred, the 30-year-old reality TV star also shared her thoughts about Harvard, calling it a joke. Harvard is a joke. It is a scam. That's my Harvard review Abraham told TMZ.File, in this Saturday, June 16, 2018 file photo, Farah Abraham arrives at the MTV Movie and TV Awards at the Barker Hangar in Santa Monica, California reality TV star Abraham has pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor stemming from a scuffle with security at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Abraham pleaded guilty in a Los Angeles court Friday, November 2, 2018, to a charge of resisting police. In May, LinkedIn removed Harvard University from Abraham's profile because she could not provide sufficient evidence that she attended the university, according to page 6. This isn't the first time Abraham has publicly feuded with someone. This summer Abraham made headlines after Chrissy Teigen was called out for cyberbullying the reality star, Teigen called Abraham a W.E. on Twitter back in 2013. The tweet from Teigen reshared by Candace Owens reads, Farah Abraham now thinks she is pregnant from her sex tape. In other news you're a W.E. and everyone hates you whoops not other news sorry. Tegan has personally never apologized to the reality star, according to Abraham. Tegan has previously claimed she was going to reach out to all of the people she had bullied online. The reality star opened up about Tegan's lack of apology during an episode of E! News Just the Sip podcast. I still have not been apologized to she said. I've just noticed her habitual behavior where she will say things and go mute and or block things, and then not follow through with what she says. Again, that is hypocrisy and I don't tolerate it. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.